All right, the number one sign that your child is consuming too much sugar. Can you guess? Something related to their mood. They're grouchy, angry, irritable, whining, defiant, or pouting. That might not be real to you. Your child is probably very, very calm. But if they start experiencing a lot of mood issues, could be the sugar. Now, when I was in practice for 29 years, I always had people that came to me with this problem over and over. And I just assumed that everyone knows about this. And so they would bring the child to the psychiatrist to get a diagnosis. Completely unnecessary. It's not a mental problem. It's a physical problem. It's a blood sugar problem. And of course, upon asking a couple of questions, I would find out that they're giving their child orange juice, uh, grape juice, cherry juice, uh, apple juice, thinking that that's healthy for them. It's pure sugar. They would do applesauce, which basically has more sugar than even candy, and it's all pasteurized and cooked, and a lot of times they even add sugar in there, so it's really a refined product. And then, of course, you have all the fruit snacks, the fruit juice, granola bars, which has massive amounts of sugar, vitamin water, energy drinks, sport drinks, filled with sugar, not to mention mac and cheese and all the other cookies and candies that kids eat. This would be the first symptom, though, that that child would experience because what happens is the blood sugars go up, insulin kicks in, pushes it down, now they end up with low blood sugar. So these are all low blood sugar symptoms. Sugar in general interferes with different parts of the brain in the production of certain neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine, other things as well that calm the nervous system. Also, it blocks the absorption of vitamin C. The chemistry of sugar and vitamin C is very similar. So in the presence of sugar, you can't absorb vitamin C. And vitamin C is necessary uh, to make neurotransmitters as well. Also, with the sugar, you're going to deplete zinc, vitamin B1, potassium, and magnesium. All key minerals and vitamins that calm your child down. In this state, the child's going to be hyperactive. They're going to have attention deficit problems. They're going to have a real difficult time learning and studying and retaining information because they're just their body is completely um, on edge. If your child has any mood issues at all, always check the blood sugars first. I would get them on a special healthy eating plan. It's called Healthy Keto. And I put a link down below for those of you that are not familiar with this. And you're going to notice a huge change in the calmness of the child, their ability to focus and have self-control. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.